Hi everyone, Daily Crafted here. Valentine's Day is coming up uh, really quickly. Today is February 4th, I believe. Uh, and I made a card for my husband for our anniversary and I wanted to share that with you because it could also be utilized as a Valentine's Day card. It's just a matter of using different paper. But um, what I, it, it's a very simple card. It's not as extravagant as some of the professional scrapbookers and, and card makers come up with, but I, I like the simplicity of this and I have had a lot of fun with uh, some paper crafts. I did make some Christmas cards, although I didn't record it. So my apologies for that, but it's well past Christmas. So we'll just move into Valentine's day. And like I said, I had made this for my husband uh, for our anniversary. And so what I did, I did put washi tape across here just for privacy reasons, but you know, uh, I had written, written his name on this piece. I'm going to show you, you know, what we, what I did and, um, and the supplies that I used. So I'm going to put this off to the side for now. So what I, that was, um, of course, a paper cutter, really helpful. I mean, if you're really good with scissors, I, I envy you because <laughs> straight lines for me are a mystery. And um, I had bought a more masculine uh, feeling, equestrian feel, and it had some travel in it uh, with with the card that I made him for our anniversary. We do love to travel. So I went ahead and made, made that in the travel, but you can buy a paper pad. This one was from Michael's and I bought this, uh, I believe November or December of last year. I do have a video of where I did like a mini shopping haul. I bought guinea pig food and this paper pad. We just went a little bit everywhere that day. So, um, but with this paper pad, what, uh, I did was I went through and just kind of found a basic piece of paper and it had a leather look to it. So I have all my scraps in, in another part of the room. But so for instance, as far as like this one was similar to this, except for it's black, look, a black leather look instead of brown. And what I wanted to do was I have these envelopes that are six by six. And so just trying to go a little quick here, show you. So as far as the base, like I said, it's just I use a base. I'll flip through this paper pad for you again here. Since I'm scrambling to find, I love this one. I'm gonna make something out of that sometime soon too. The saddle. So as you can see, and then I use the travel suitcases from there. So this is the one that I had used was this for the base, for instance. And I did want to use something a little different for the Valentine's though. Okay, so we've got a red leather look. There we go, okay. And so what I'm doing is I'm just kind of I know this is a little bit less than six inches on this card. So what I'm using is I'm using this card as a guide. I don't have the fancy. This is a very inexpensive trimmer. So I don't have the fancy trimmer that has the extension arms. So I just kind of work with it. And so I'm sizing it up. See that groove right there? Sizing it up. Because I know this fit in the envelope pretty well. Okay. And once again, this is 
an initial investment. This was, I believe, around $10 on Amazon. And like the paper pad, I had gotten that on sale at Michael's and it was 40% off. I think the regular price, I can't remember the regular price. I do apologize, but I know they're, they usually run around, I think $10 for those as well. But I've made so many cards already and it's kind of nice to make it more personal. So, so with this, obviously that's not where I measured. <laughs> so this will just go into a scrap envelope or in my stack of things here, right? And so with the fact that I've done travel for his, I should have thought this out a little bit better, but uh, with the fact that I had done travel for our anniversary card. And so what I'm going to do is just, okay, compare this to the size. Yeah, I, I kept the card, so I kept the card handy. <laughs> I didn't want to torture you with the measuring tape here today. So, all right. Okay, so I'm just taking a little bit off of there. Okay, so we've got the base for the card. And I don't have a bone folder or anything fancy like that. I'm just going to put that off to the side there. I don't have a bone folder or anything like that that's fancy. But I do have... The ability to like take my time to just fold it and if I wanted to I could use like the base of my scissors here that don't have any of the rubber and I do have a squeegee but I didn't bring it out so just go just working with what I have handy here okay so that I have the card base it's like I said I'm not a professional card maker I'm just going with the flow So what I'm going to do is just, um, there aren't many like lovely Valentine sentiments in this particular pad, but I'm just going to go with what I have here. You know, it's not like going to be a frou-frou Valentine's card. It's going to be a little bit on the masculine side because well, he's a guy. <laughs> I totally cut that all wrong. Uh, all right. So I hope you're having fun watching this. Okay. If I gave him the work hard and stay focused, he'd be like, uh, already there. <laughs> it's like, I know. Thank you. I do appreciate it. Yeah. So I'm just going to trim that off a little bit. And sometimes you can use the trimmings. Very in, in unexpected spots as far as the trimmings off of these. It's kind of nice. So, you just never know where you might want a trim piece or something. So, like I said, this is this is probably going to be pretty basic. I do have like some washi tape. I love the Tim Holtz. They do have like a lot of more masculine type of feel. And then, of course, I'm going to use the body dressing tape. I like that. It's, it sticks. I mean, this sticks like nobody's business if it can keep a brassiere on my skin it can keep like a card together and then I have these little dot adhesive things and all this all this that I'm showing you here can be found on Amazon so 
And the body dressing tape, that's, I got that from Amazon a while ago, but you should still be able to find it because it's, it's pretty popular to have that on hand for, especially when summer comes up and all those dresses that need a little extra help on staying in the right spots. So, alrighty. So, kind of my thought process with this is just starting out with a basic layout okay and then once again this is a this is a hard one to figure out as far as for valentine's because i already did the travel for our For our anniversary okay pause you for just a second here okay I'm back my apologies I had to take care of something there uh, so basically I and I had to take care of this too so that we could get moving along so what I had done was I had taken another sheet out and cut it down it's a locker and this will all come together in a moment and I'm just going to take and that's going to be on the inside so I'm just gonna take and fold that so it'd be like a inner liner of what I want to say with my card and so I'll go ahead and I know it's not exactly fitting but I do have a plan for it so uh, my cuttings my cutting skills are a little challenged here <laughs> okay so okay and I cut out a couple other things that we'll add in a minute here so what I will do is take if I say so one more time I'm going to like uh, make fun of myself even more take the body dressing tape is what it's called also known as by another name but we'll just go with the body dressing tape like I said this stuff is strong very strong okay I'm just gonna take and I got to be really careful with this because if I mess up with this body dressing tape, it is uh, the devil himself that, you know, you don't want to deal with it. I'm just saying. All right. So I'm trying to like get it to where I can because I'm going to trim this out with washi tape. So I wasn't really worried about not having the cuts completely straight. Okay. And then I'll do another at the bottom as well but yeah with Valentine's Day coming up um, I did buy him a card but I was like you know I like making cards for him it's just kind of fun it's a little more challenging because it's making more masculine cards Versus, you know, the frou-frou cards and that. So, let's see here. Oh, dropping everything. Okay. I'll use the... It's got a little bit of numbers. My camera is just being a turkey again so it's got numbers that kind of goes with the whole locker thing so so I'm going to just take and trim it out and thank goodness for washi tape it doesn't stick as bad as the 
body tape. So I'm going to put you on pause again and I'll finish trimming this out. Okay, so what I've done is I've, my apologies if that was really loud, <laughs> gone ahead and kind of prepped things so that way um, you get an idea. So basically as far as what I'm going to do is I went ahead and took my label maker. I have like a black tape in there and I printed out this I'm your number one fan and so basically I'm just using the cards to inspire what do I want to say for Valentine's and it's like you kind of you kind of springboard off of you know what you have available to you in in the paper options and it really brings out your creativity of how do you express how much someone means to you and I just think it's really cool and fun to do that so what I want to do is I want to try to make sure and place this carefully once again this tape oh gosh that I could it's almost a big mess. <laughs> if this would have stuck to that, I, I had to make some repairs. Okay. So you can kind of see where I'm going with the layout here. And I did cut like a little heart out because I was going to put that in the... Uh, on the inside probably so part of it is thinking trying to think of what do I want to say you know and how do I want to say it and so I'm just kind of giving oh kind of just giving you the basics of trying to stay within the camera here And then as far as the Tim Holtz ideology phrases are really, really kind of inspiring too. You know, it's like words on the fridge and uh, the magnetic words on the fridge. I know that that used to be really popular at one time, but this is similar to that. And I know that I had done that within my husband's card as well and made a really nice sentiment and maybe I'll read that to you It'll give you some inspiration of of what you might want to say to your significant other that means a lot to you okay so this is completely okay yeah it was completely not centered so I was hoping I didn't press it down too hard So if I were making these as a profession, yeah, I'd be a little bit more um, utilizing more professional tools, but, <laughs> but this is what I had on hand and like I said, I wanted to share with you because I know Valentine's Day is coming up and if you have these supplies and want to kind of just get started on your on your card and have that already in time or any card you know you know you might have an anniversary coming up or something like that as well I know one of my friends's anniversaries is coming up really soon her and her husband's anniversary so okay so all right so what I have here is um, some adhesive foam dots as well Like I said, I just started making cards like pretty much around Christmas. It's kind of fun to make them more personal. 
it's more personable to make them in my opinion and I really do try to dearly craft them <laughs> no pun intended but yeah I think that everything that we make is dearly crafted usually and that's what inspired my channel name so all right I'll just use those two dots y'all and here so they have a little like backing on them if you can hear my chair squeak that's the noise just to let you know the, the squeaking noise so just put those over to the side here I got like scraps going over there got to be careful with that tape okay so so what I'm doing is I should have put that label on or that wording on but I'm just trying to center so that gives it a little bit of dimension with those little foam dots like I said those were on Amazon as well and so if you plan on making more than one card like I, said, I got for Christmas I was able to make quite a few cards and have some for next year I'm gonna put on my glasses because I keep forgetting to do that they're probably I've had to keep <laughs> glasses in almost every room now because I keep forgetting to take them from one to the other but you know you just get busy with things sometimes that's all all right so what I'm gonna do is yeah I know I could write it on here I'm your number one fan but I just wanted the nice neat look so I'm your number one fan it kind of has the sports he did sports and he still does some um, workouts and stuff like that so basically as far as like kind of relating to his sport background and all that and um, so I'm your number one fan and then then I figure I could make a like kind of a funny bad dad joke or something like I could write here well I'm gonna try to figure out where I'm gonna put this okay So I'll probably put that up here and I'll probably write down here. You have a locker. on my heart <laughs> okay so okay so I'm trying to write on camera here and there we go all right, so that kind of gives you an idea. I mean, if it's like, if my writing, if I mess it up, I can just take and like, you know, cut out a piece from the other card and, you know, just kind of write something new or just kind of repair it, uh, you know, with something like this and use a label maker <laughs> or something. But I'm going to go ahead and write it and then, you know, and then write happy Valentine's Day here. Oh my gosh. I think 20 million things when I'm writing stuff, I really need to stop doing that. It's a bad habit. Okay. So, all right, so basically as far as that, 
like I said, if I want to I want to make that stand out more. I can do that, but um, okay. So I'm just looking for the. I thought I saw. Oh, okay. Like this here oh my gosh this is going in 25 minutes i need to trim some of this down okay so i just got like the little love you like right here okay and then i'm gonna put a little foam thing i might make adjustments to this later on but like i said it just gives you kind of an idea um Hopefully that sticks on there. Okay. So hopefully this gives you an idea of what simple you can do. And um, I may take and trim this out a little bit more. With, you know, with some some washi just to kind of dress it up a little bit more here but it's like like I said as far as I know that as far as Valentine's cards and stuff they have a lot of really good ones now but um, that are more masculine and and that but to actually make them I hadn't seen a lot of cards where you actually make the more masculine cards and course I you know I don't spend 20 hours a day looking but <laughs> no offense but okay I'm just oh my gosh trying to line that up was like funny okay there we go so like uh, once again it's it's not like any super fancy card but it really was fun and I'll read you what I'll read to you the what I expressed in our anniversary card with the the ideology words I was able to put together Once again, inspired me to really think about, hmm, you know, what? You know, when you have a hard time sometimes expressing to the person what you feel, it, it prompts you. A little bit more. So I'm just going to tidy that up here okay. okay so oops so that gives it a little bit more decorative look and once again Love you. You have a locker on my heart. Happy Valentine's Day. And then I'll, you know, sign it in that sort. So as far as the um, the other card with the Tim Holtz, um, I was able to, you know, it was a travel and life was meant for a great adventure. I put that up there. And um, so with the Tim Holtz, I was able to come up with Darlene. I start each day with a grateful heart. I'm happiest when I'm with you. You are my passion and courage and adventure. 
Life is good with you. You're all I had hoped to find in every single way. I feel so lucky to embrace the journey. I love us. Love your heart. Love you. And then I wrote happy anniversary. So I didn't want to read that as sentimental to you as I did to him. <laughs> Just, you know, I was trying not to be too mushy, basically. So, all right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Hope everybody has a great day and good luck. Have fun with making Valentine's Day cards. We'll talk with you next time.